guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Des, and I'm back with another haul for you. Today, we have a tiny Timu haul. I'm still waiting on parcels to come, but with the Black Friday sales, let me just warn y'all now, <laughs> things are running late. So I have like probably three orders from Shein and maybe four from Timu, not including this one, but I think the Timu ones are slightly smaller. So yeah, um, I have all of those to arrive. They're running real late and I'm like, oh my God, I want you to hurry up and get here so I can finish decorating for Christmas because your girl has started. I have started decorating for Christmas so I can get everything done and I can get a video out for you in the first week of December if everything arrives. <laughs> So yeah, I'm hoping, I'm fingers crossed, I'm praying everything arrives ready. If you're wondering what that is behind me, it's it's the cat. It's the beautiful, beautiful boy, Marley, <laughs> having a wash and brush up as normal. Um, but yeah, d don't think that that's Casper or anything behind me. I'm debunking myself as we talk. It's Marley. Um, so yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoy your stay. A like and a subscribe goes an awful long way. And if you are one of my regulars, much love to y'all because you're going to need it with me. The brain farts today are real. So let's get into the small Timo haul first. On first inspection, I did notice there was a bit of an issue just here. I don't know if that was uh, created as it was being posted or if somebody's gone into this I don't know but it kind of looks like it was taped here maybe and I don't know I, I just don't know because it looks like whatever has happened has been done like across where that tape is so I'm not sure what's happened there I'm not going to guesstimate I'm just praying that everything's going to be in here because if I remember rightly, I know I've got charms coming in this, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's let's just be optimistic, okay? Oh yeah, trust your eyebrow thingy <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So I've got. A, I wish I had like a little stand here. So the first thing I have is this here. Some of you may recognize what game this is, but for those of you that aren't like avid gamers and have no idea, this is from a game that I played quite a lot of. So this is actually uh, from a game called Life is Strange. Um, I loved them. The third one I couldn't really get into, but I absolutely loved this game in general. It is uh, a decision-making game. I just thought that the artwork was really, really nice on this as well. Um, I love gaming, absolutely love gaming. So for me to find this, I was absolutely over the moon with it. That is so awesome. Um, it does come a little bit damaged, a little bit bent, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm just going to stick it to a wall or probably have it like maybe in my background somewhere here or, you know, like, I don't know. It will be somewhere and it will be fine. It's, it's not like I'm going to worry about like a little bit of bent tin here, tin. I don't know if it's made of tin to be fair, but you can just bend it back in shape anyway. So it's not really that bad, but I just absolutely love that. I think it's beautiful artwork. But yeah, <laughs> so that's that one. I'm going to stick it here by my lamp right now because I may have a little game sesh playing that because I really, really enjoyed those games. Like I say, the third one wasn't really my jam, but I'll give it another go one day. So the second thing I have is, okay, so this is like, um, I think they call them cup sleeves. So this is for a cup that I'd ordered from Shein. So I didn't like the colour of the cup that I'd ordered from Shein because it was like red. Red is not my favourite colour. 
I mean, she says that and she's wearing a screen top <laughs> with red on. I mean, it's like if I was to choose, I wouldn't have picked a red cup, but because it was um, marked down in price. I can't remember how much it was now. It was marked down in price, but this is just a simple little cup sleeve and it's leopard print because I love leopard print. I've never disclosed that on the channel, but I used to be so into leopard print. Like everything that I wore had leopard print on it. You know, <laughs> it got to that point where everything that I purchased had some form of leopard print on. I still have so much stuff. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I, I think I gravitate towards leopard print and then I move away from it and then I gravitate back to it. So I think it's just a, a, a me thing. I don't know if everybody else goes through that where they just, one minute they really want to have it all over the place and the next minute they're like, mm, I'll give it a miss. But that was that. And I thought that was quite a good price to be fair. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I don't think it was overly expensive. Um, but yes, I will pop it somewhere on the screen. Probably that side. So the next thing I have is some tattoos, just for a little bit of fun for me. Get two little pages there, which I think are really cute, actually. I think some of them are... That obviously they look backwards, but when you stick them on wherever you're going to stick them, they're going to go forwards, if that makes sense. Um, you've got some that say meow, I love BB. I don't know what that means, but we'll make use of them. Oh, the little aeroplanes are super cute. I love those little aeroplanes. Oh, it's upside down, Dust. What the heck? Look at those aeroplanes. How adorable are they? And then you've got like the, the diamonds and the hearts. Oh, I love that. They're really cool. I love those. Absolutely love those. They are really, really cute. So the next thing I have... <laughs> all right so y'all know I love Slipknot I had to get one so this is actually meant for your car but for me it's gonna go in my window oh, you can't really see it because that thing on the back let me just put this protective thingy back on real quick um let me try and take this backing off here because I want you to see it. Oh, no, it's going to stick. But if nobody knows what it looks like, then I will post a picture somewhere within the video so you can actually see what it looks like. Because it's really hard to show you with this sticker on the back and it won't come off. So, yeah, that's going to actually go in my window. I know, I know. Just promoting the slipknot. <laughs> uh, the next thing I have is... Oh, it's a charm. I knew I had charms in this one. Wait. Well, there's already something missing in there because I'm supposed to have a poster in this. I know that I'm supposed to have a poster in this one. Oh, actually, I don't know. I'll have to check that, to be fair. So I got... <laughs> I got this little ghost charm to represent Casper, as I like to call him. Or her, I'm not sure who it is. But yeah, you might not be able to see it too good. But as always, I will stick a little video or a picture in. But I love Casper, this little Casper. I think it was really cute, like with the pumpkin. And obviously with Halloween now being over, it's um, gone down a little bit in price. So I thought I'm going to grab that. Um, I just want to check real quick, actually, if this is the order that I ordered a poster in because if so, I need to speak to Timu <laughs> or I need to let them know. Okay. Yeah, I was supposed to get a poster in this and it's not in the bag. What's that? Um, and 
there's also, if that's all that's in there, yeah, there's also, I think, a charm missing. That's not it. Oh, no. So there's a poster and a charm missing. That's great. <laughs> that's just fantabulous. I'm not happy. Well, I'll just have to speak to him. You know, it, it can't really be helped. It happens, like, during shipping sometimes things go missing, you know. But hopefully they'll be understanding about it and give me my money back for those items. Um, so the next thing I have is another charm. What's this one? Oh, I know what this one is. So my brother's dad... Um, he was really into fishing like it was something that he really enjoyed all of the time unfortunately he's no longer with us but he was such a great person and this is the charm that I got that reminded me of him so it's like a little angel fish again I will post a video because I do realize that it's very hard to see on this phone <laughs> So, yeah, I'll 100% post a picture of that. Um, this is another charm as well. So this, basically, it's like a... I believe they call them spacers. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But it's kind of like it's got like a... Look at that. I love that. Um, and it's... Yeah, it's got little sparkles there as well on it you can probably just about see it kind of but yeah I just love the fact that it's got that little chain linking I love that so much and I thought well I need to get a spacer so supporting the theme today of what I'm wearing I have the cutest, cutest ghost face earrings you've ever seen or that I've ever seen. Hang on. Let me just, I'll show you one because it's just easier. Look at those. Look at it. I love, I just love these so much. I cannot wait to wear them. In fact, I'm probably going to wear them tomorrow. They're just so, so adorable. Absolutely adorable. I just love them. I saw them and I was like, I have to have them. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy them earlier, to be quite honest, because I've seen them before on there and I've just sort of like, oh, you've got loads of ghost face stuff, you know. But I didn't have a dainty pair of ghost face earrings, so I decided that maybe I should just get them. In case I go anywhere where I can't be like all in your face novelty ghost face earrings. <laughs> but I still want to have like a bit of my personality there. So I'll put them in like these dainty ones. Right, the last thing I have in this bag is a blast from the past for me. So y'all know I'm into my alternative music. Um, I love... Slipknot, I love Ramstein, I love Nirvana, but I also really, really love the band Him. Look at this! <gasps> the heartogram ring! I just love it so much. So it is one that you can adjust, and I'm going to have to adjust it, because my fingers are porky, and I don't know if it will... No, it won't... Oh. I mean, it fits on there, but it's actually quite big on there. So I just absolutely loved it. I, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, my God, that's a massive blast from the past. Who does not love the band Him? I mean, like, obviously, there's some of you that probably won't or probably haven't even heard of the band, which is fair, you know. But for those of you that are alternative, that were in my kind of era, Y'all will know who it is. I just absolutely love it. And Bam Margera was very heavily associated with um, the lead singer. Um, I think his name is Bill Vallow. So, yeah, like, just, oh, 
I loved it so much. And it also came in gold, but I decided to get the silver because you know how I've had a lot of bad luck with all the gold things that I've brought from Timu and Shein, um, and they all turn out to be yellow. So I decided to get the silver, and it is absolutely fantabulous. I am going to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to wear everything tomorrow. You're going to see me. I'm going to be kitted out in so much stuff. Right. Anyway, so that's it for the Timu haul. Let's move on to the Primani slash Primark haul. Okay, so I've cleaned up all the chaos from the Timu haul. I've put in for my refunds and they've come straight through. So I'm not mad. They have fully refunded me um, and fingers crossed because I am planning on ordering the poster at least again. Um, there was a charm missing. It was like a mermaid charm. Uh, I can get that another day. You know, it's out of stock now. So if, if it comes back in, I will get it. If not, then I'll look for a different one. But the poster is still in stock and I really want it. So I'm going to reorder that hopefully and it will be here at some point. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's have a little chat and a little catch up first before I get into the Primark haul. Um, so the other week I made a community tab post about me taking the boys to Wendy's. We all had like a fantastic time in Wendy's. They really enjoyed it. Like I've got to say... The Wendy's that I've opened here are really friendly. Um, and the food was really nice, actually. I don't know what I expected, to be fair. I, I don't know if I thought, oh, I don't know if it's... Because, like, the menu's very limited here. I don't know if that's the same for everybody across the pond. But here, the menu is limited to certain things. And I was like, oh, okay, so... You know, like we tried a few things and it was really, really nice. I was pleasantly surprised. And the boys have actually said that they would rather go there now than anywhere else. So, I mean, <laughs> I'll take that. But anyways, we, we went shopping. Um, we went to Matalan and I bought them like a hot chocolate set. Like it was like a, a Minecraft mug. Minecraft yeah it's Minecraft Minecraft mug with a mini grater and a little whisk they were so cute so I've actually put them away for uh Christmas Eve I'll get them out and like insert a little video at the end of the video at the end of this video or maybe while I'm talking about it actually um I'll probably put a little video in it's such a cute little set and I thought that's going to be ideal for them on uh, Christmas Eve. They're going to be able to get into their new pyjamas because I bought them today in the bag. <laughs> um, so, and they're going to have a nice little hot chocolate and we'll probably sit and watch a movie together, have a few snacks and chill. Um, ready for Christmas Day! <laughs> I have started decorating the living room. But until everything's here, I don't want to do the video because I'm like, mm, I know I promised you guys that I would have it up hopefully for the 1st of December. So I'm praying that everything arrives by then. If not, I'll have to leave a few things out and maybe put them on the community tab because I really want to have that video up for you. I want you to see what it's going to look like here at Christmas. I've ordered the boys' bedding. I've ordered my bedding. Um, I have, like, as you can see, I do have a few things out, but I don't want to show you everything right now, you know. So, anyways, we've gone to Pri uh, Primark, Matalan. Um, got a few things from there. Then decided to go food shopping because it was like just easier to do the food shopping on the same day, less money in taxi fares. So. Um, we get that, we come out, I order the taxi to go home. The taxi is like 10, 15 minutes late than what it should be. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to ring them. <laughs> so anyways, 
I thought I'll give them another five minutes because like just recently I have noticed with the taxi firm that I'd been using, I've used this taxi firm for years, like literal years. And I've never had a problem with them. But this past year, it's been really bad. Like with them being late, that's one thing. Like with them being late, that that sort of sends me a bit over the edge. Because I'm like, don't tell me you're going to be five, ten minutes if you're going to be 40 minutes late. You know, like ring me, let me know, give me the courtesy of saying to me, look, we're going to be a little bit like, yeah, there, there is no, we'll let you know. Anyways, he turns up and at first I didn't realise that this guy was a taxi. So he's like, he sort of comes round and he stops. And you know how like they normally have the, um, like a car sticker on the, like saying who they are. There was nothing. I didn't see anything at all. And I thought... I don't know if he's a taxi or not. And I'm really looking at the car to find like where this sticker is. Nothing. So then I see all of a sudden as he pulls right up to where we are, there's like a private hire thing. And I thought, oh, yeah, it's the taxi, you know. So I get my trolley and I don't know at the time, but mom's trolley, she hadn't had hold of and it was parked behind mine. I moved my trolley. And her trolley slowly rolled forward and before I could catch it, went into the side of his car. Well, if you'd have seen this trolley, it was literally slow motion, literally slow motion. And he got out of his car and he went straight to a spot that already had a dent and a scratch in. And he was like, you've damaged my car. Well, I'm like, uh, no, mate, I saw your car, right, coming all the way up here. I've examined your car while looking to see if you're an actual taxi. That damage was already there. So he was like, no, it wasn't. What are you going to do about it? I said, well, nothing. I'm not going to do nothing about it because at the end of the day, that damage was there. We didn't cause that damage. And then I've got my eldest behind me and he's going, she didn't cause that damage, blah, 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 you know. And I'm like, you chill. <laughs> it's nice to know that he's got his mama's back though, to be fair. And uh, God love him for that, you know. God love him for that. And um, obviously with my youngest being autistic, he was getting really upset. Not like, because this strange man is basically blaming us for something that we hadn't done. Um, and I was tr like trying to calm him down at the same time, as well as say to the bloke, look, that damage was already there. Do not try and blame me for something that's already there because you're not going to get any money out of me, right? If I'd have caused that damage, hand on heart, I would have said to him, look, we'll settle it up. I'll give you some money and, you know, hopefully it will help cover some of the cost of what needs fixing. So anyways, he gets back in his car because I, I said, he went to open the boot, sorry, he went to open the boot, and I went, no, 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 I'm not getting in a taxi with you, because he was a bit irate, and I was like, no, we're not getting in the taxi, I said, you you can go back, I, I was like, no way, no way, I'm not being blamed for that, and then you say, oh, well, you know, just get in the taxi, no way, <laughs> so he gets back in the car, he's on the phone to someone, I have no idea who he's talking to, because he rolls his window up, I'm like, fair enough. So I go over with my youngest and leave my eldest with my mum. I go over to the shop outside Aldi with my youngest and, like, I'm calling the taxi firm to let them know, look, I'm sending the car back. He's tried to blame us for something that we haven't done to his car. I said, yes, the trolley did roll into it, but it didn't cause the damage that he's saying it has. It hasn't caused any damage because it was slow motion. I mean, outside Aldi, there's cameras. And that would have been picked up. And the guy that was sat outside, now, um, the, I don't know if he's homeless or not, but he was sat outside at Aldi. And regardless of his situation, I always, if I see someone sat outside there, I've done it where there's been two or three of them. And I've bought a load of bits and I've just shared them out with them because that's the type of person that I am. I don't like to see anyone go without. So I will get a few bits and I pass it on to them as I'm coming out the door. Anyway, <clears throat> he piped up and he was like, no, 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 no. That damage 
was not caused by that shopping trolley. He goes, I saw that roll into the car. And he said it was so slowly how it happened. There was no way that would have caused that damage. And I was like, I know, I know, right? I'm not silly. I know what he was on with, this taxi driver. Anyways, so I'm on the phone to them and he gets out of his car and he proceeds to take pictures of me and my youngest. And I flip. I was like, what do you think you're doing? And I'm shouting at this point. I'm literally losing my mind at this point because I'm like, not only have you tried to blame us for damage that was already on your car, but you're now taking pictures with my son in it. I don't even put my kids up on here. If I do put them up on here, their faces are covered. So I said to him, right, I'm just going to call the police. And he goes, I'll call the police then. I'll call the police. He's going, I'm like, go ahead, go ahead, call the police, right? And obviously the the guy outside the shop that I mentioned, like that piped up that I thought may have been homeless, he was like, um, tell the police, tell the police that you've took pictures of the child. <laughs> He's going, And I was like, well, I'm not letting him leave with pictures. If I have to stand in front of that car, I know it may sound dramatic to some people on here, but it wasn't dramatic for me because that's my baby. You know, you don't take a picture of my baby without my permission because otherwise I'm not going to let you go anywhere, <laughs> you know. Um, so obviously I said to, I was saying to him, give me the phone, like his phone, because he was on the pl- on the phone to the police and he was yabbering down the phone to them telling them complete twaddle, like saying that I was aggressive for no reason. And I was like, hang on a minute. I was like, pass me the phone, I'm going. And I spoke, he, in the end, passed me the phone and I spoke to the policewoman. She was like, you really need to resolve this between you both. And I said, I get that, but he's now got a picture of my child on his phone. I said, if he wants a picture of the store or me outside the store, he can have one. I'd literally stand out there like, because I know I hadn't caused the problem. It wasn't me. I haven't caused that issue to his car. So anyways, um, in the end, he got in his car, got off the phone to the police. They were like, no, you need to resolve it between you both. As long as she's not hit you or you've not hit her, you know, you can resolve it between you. And I was like, cool, cool. As long as he takes that picture off his phone, I'm happy for him to leave. So he eventually said, all right, I'll delete the picture. But he was like sort of skirting around it saying, oh, you're not in the picture exactly. Like I was trying to get a picture of the store. And when he was going for his album, I see the picture. on. I was like, what's that then? And he tried to go past it quick. And I was like, what's that? What's that I'm going to? And I'm pointing at his phone. And he was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. But you, uh, you was in the way. And he goes, I was trying to. I said, but the store logo is not even in the picture. What, what are you what are you doing? You know? Um, he did eventually delete it, like I say. And then I said to him, and now you can empty your recycle bin. Well, he was like, I don't have a recycle bin. I was like, yes, you do. And he was like, no, I don't. Look at my phone. Where's the recycle bin? So I said to him, all right, I'll show you, shall I? He was like, but I've got a Samsung. And I said, yes, I've got two Samsungs right here. And they both have a recycle bin. (laughs) so obviously I went into his recycle but I can laugh about it now because I must have looked so ridiculously overprotective but there's no way he was leaving with a picture of my child on his phone you know um and it to be fair it upset him my youngest that there was a picture of him on a stranger's phone because he knows about stranger danger I drum that into my kids all the time and I think that's what upset him more than anything was the fact that this man, because it was like sort of trying to console him. And he said, tell him to delete it. Tell him to delete it is going. And you've got to understand the children that have autism, certain things can be a massive trigger. And for him, he doesn't like strangers approaching him. He doesn't like people taking pictures of him that he doesn't know unless mum says it's OK. You know, if it's like a photographer, it's someone professional, he will sit there and have his picture taken. But if it's just someone that's come and caused his mum a problem or tried to cause his mum a problem, he's going to have like a meltdown over it. Just be careful and mindful. Even if you've used them for years and years and years, there's always 
one bad apple or two bad apples or maybe even three or four I don't know but there's always someone to bring them down some of them drivers are absolutely lovely one of them in particular I would happily if he moved firms happily have him pick me up every single time he's down to earth he's lovely he's got mad respect for you if you need help he'll help you with your shopping and then there's some of them that are really really ignorant and they bring the whole firm down so yeah just be mindful now that's me rambling about my anxiety problems just because I felt like y'all needed to hear it <laughs> let's get into the primarney haul so first thing I have is this amazing cushion here four pound it's super soft. I saw it and I was like, look, I have to have this in my life. This is a must for me. And it is really lovely. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like speckles of glitter on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I might have to. Oh, wait, no, you can. You can just about see it there. But yeah, I thought this was perfect for my bed. So that's where it's going to go bit of a Christmas star top of the tree type thing the next thing I got the boys a pair of pajamas each Spongebob square pants these are really soft so I had to get a men's medium because they were only in men's sizes and I wasn't going to pass them up because my youngest is Spongebob mad um and these were how much were you Oh, 17 pounds, 17 pounds. So I got one for my youngest and the same ones for my eldest because they both like SpongeBob. And I couldn't find another one for my eldest that was something different that he liked. So I got SpongeBob obviously because like, who doesn't like a bit of SpongeBob? I do. <laughs> and then I got the boys there for now, those ones. These are their Christmas Eve. They're Lakers. Sorry, you can see it now. Now, these were reduced from £17 to £10 each. I didn't think that was half bad, to be quite honest. £10 for Lakers PJs. And they will definitely be having those in their Christmas Eve boxes. I can't wait for Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. Not just for the kids, but for the fact of... It's been the first Christmas since my dad passed away that I've actually made a massive, massive effort to make things Christmassy and pretty. And, you know, like I started last year by getting like the boys had Grinch bedding for Christmas. I didn't get any for myself because I was still a bit bar humbug because um, my dad loved Christmas and it just it never feels the same, does it? So, yeah. So I got two pairs of those. Both had to have medium so the next thing I got are these fibre cloths. So silly, silly me thought that all of them were going to be patterned like this, but it's only the first one. But to be fair, this one's going to go with my kitchen amazingly. And then you've got the green one, which I'll probably keep in the living room for like the TV and stuff. And then the red one and the white one. I might give the red one to my brother and the white one to my mom. Um, these were only £2. So for five fibre cloths, I really don't feel that that's bad. I do love this one, though. I think that's adorable. I just, I love the little picture on there. And I just, I wish, I kind of wish they all had that. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, the next thing I got are these rose lights. So let's have a little look. These were only £3. They're actually quite small. But I like that because they might look really nice in the window. Let's just see. Oh, you need three batteries. I don't have three batteries on me, but I will light them up and stick a little video in for you when I get some batteries, which hopefully won't be too long I might even have some in the drawer in the kitchen so I'll check after the video after I've finished recording but yeah they are battery operated you just need three AA batteries um I don't think it's half bad to be fair 
for three pound i really don't think that that's bad at all and then just because i didn't know if i had enough lights i got some more 50 led lights here and these were two pound fifty to be fair primani is pulling it out of the bag with the little lights there i think they're really cool let's just get them out these are battery operated as well you need three aas for these as well but i'm just hoping that they're all gonna work i mean for that price i hope they work but i kind of i don't know i get a bit skeptical when things are like really really inexpensive and i'm like oh, are they gonna work but i hope they do because i've got a plan for them but i can't tell y'all so the last things that I got are actually in this bag. I will show you. So I've got an idea for these. I thought about hanging these in my window. I've got four, well, four in total. And these were two pound for two of them. Um, I think that that's really, really good value. These are hopefully gonna hang at different levels in my window because I've got like a window sticker as well that's in the window. Um, and I'm going to try and hang these at different levels. So it just, it's, it's going to look amazing, I hope. I pray it's going to look amazing. I just thought that they were really, really pretty. And I thought, yeah, I could put them on my tree, but I just thought, no, I'm hanging those in my window because it's going with my theme. And then people on the outside can see that we're going pink this year. <laughs> I just, I love them so much. Uh, the next thing I have is a lovely little glitter globe. I've never had like a snow globe or glitter globe. I've had like tiny little ones, you know, like that you get, um, oh, like the... I say I've never had one. Obviously, I have because it's a tiny one. But they're like they're so the miniature, miniature ones. I've never had one that's actually like a good size. So that I just thought was amazing, and it's got like a little house in there. How pretty is that? I just love it so much, and it's white, silver, and green goes amazing with my decor. <laughs> I just thought uh, that is just amazing. So I had to have that. And then I got the boys a special little, because they've ordered now uh, the bits for their trees. That's coming in one of the parcels. So I got my youngest this one. Obviously a massive fan of SpongeBob. Saw it, had to get it. This was pound eighty. £1.80. I didn't think that was bad at all. I thought that was actually really, really good. So I've got him that. That's his special wall wall this year. And I got my eldest this one. Oh, it's so glittery. I love this one. I think it's so cool with all the glitter. I was going to get them both the same and then I was like, no, because he's not going to want the same tree as his little brother. This was also £1.80 and I think that's actually quite good very inexpensive it's like um wood so i think it's made of wood feels like it's made of wood cheap wood but wood nonetheless i just think that's so cute so yeah they're gonna be really really chuffed because they don't know about these yet they're going in their christmas eve boxes oh um, i don't know actually i should probably just give them them the day that they decorate their trees instead because otherwise it's not going to be up that long because i said by i don't know boxing day i really want to try and get the trees down in the evening and have a little bit of room because i've had my tree up all year round and even though i love it up it, it, i just need a break from it this year we need a break so i think that's what i might do actually i might give it to them the day that they decorate their tree so the next thing I have, which, yeah, there is a bit of damage. I thought there would be. Um, it's a tree candle. I know it's in gold, but 
but I couldn't find a sing uh, single one. Are you taken? Are you single, darling? <laughs> I meant silver, not single. Oh my god. So I couldn't find a silver one, so I decided to get this one, and I just absolutely loved it. I think gold and pink are really in this year, whereas I chose to do silver, but then you can have little flecks of gold too. There's nothing wrong with a fleck of gold here and there. So yeah, I won't light this. There's no way I'm going to light it, but yeah, I think all the damage can go towards the back. I don't think it's too damaged anywhere else. It's just that those few little bits there but it's gonna happen with transportation like when you're walking around town but isn't that just beautiful I really love that that is extremely pretty um like I say I won't be lighting it I'll just get it out around Christmas and I may put this in the windowsill actually because it could do with a little bit of pizzazz so I may put that there and then the last thing that I have is an acorn. So this was actually only £2. It was supposed to be three fifty. Wait, what? how much was the tree? Oh, the tree was £3.50. I mean, I think that's a good price, actually. £3.50 for that. That's actually really good. Because I know on Timu and Shein, smaller candles are way more than that sometimes so yeah I'm actually really chuffed with that and yeah this was two pound oh, look how cool that is all right has took a little bit of damage there but we're not gonna worry about it it's gonna face the window that way um but that is just so cool right I love this acorn it always reminds me of my friend from America who like I don't actually speak to anymore because we lost touch um and he used to say like when we when we'd say good night because obviously different time zones and stuff he'd be like hands you an acorn <laughs> i don't know why he used to say that but i think it was his way of like um you know how peter pan would hand wendy a thimble i think that was his kind of thing uh hands you an acorn <laughs> I never really understood it and I never questioned it but that was his thing and it just kind of reminds me of him so yeah I'm going to be putting that in the window with the tree also and the other little bits and bobs that I'm going to be putting there so yeah that's my haul um I hope you enjoyed it I know it's probably going to be like a bit of a mix and match video but yeah I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one hopefully with another Timu haul or a Shein haul next. We'll see what arrives first. <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day, evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.